Oh, well, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are gonna be installing a car park straight from the Philippines. Yes, you heard it. Not from Japan, from the Philippines. So you guys may be wondering how and why. Well, basically, my mom and dad visited the Philippines and came back with this car park. I thought it would be pretty cool to do an installation video and show you guys how great the quality is, if it's good or if it's not. So let's get right to it and I'll show you guys the car park. I guess who came, guys? <laughs> this is Alex. If you guys don't remember him, he drives a BMW. I actually let him look through the car park and he's actually going to explain it for me right now. Yes, he's not awkward, he's just <laughs> stupid. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, my heart, bro. I'm just kidding. My heart. All right, go ahead and take it away. In particular right here, what we're going to be looking at today is a high definition driving recorder. You can see plenty of these on the market. Uh, this one in this case is actually a non-branded one, so I mean for sure you could probably get the non-branded ones for a better deal compared to the ones that actually have like a logo plastered on them. Uh, basically with those kinds of... Uh, packages or different products out there it's all the same but I mean again it's just like you know different marketing gimmicks and things of that sort so what we're gonna be looking at here when we first open the package is of course you know protective film as well as even some sort of uh, styrofoam just to ensure that the packages and or the uh, products within the package aren't broken once you do receive them what it is basically off the bat is not only is a dash cam but it's also a panoramic mirror in one so I'm not too sure if you guys can exactly see that but there's a little faint outline of a square right there that's gonna actually be the screen that you could see uh, integrated into the mirror itself right when you're driving along if you want to view it uh, on the go or maybe if you want to review it down the road I believe right we can always look into those features kind of later we can always confirm those you also have control buttons down here at the bottom you can also see what the uh, controls are for here as well if you can see it Again, it's very thin or it's very um, minute with the, uh, the details, so I mean, you can't exactly see it all together, but I mean, it's just made, uh, made sure to ensure complete visibility when you're, you know, utilizing the mirror function of the, of the uh, mirror altogether, right? Uh, from there, you can also see uh, at the top too, we also have things like, you know, the audio-visual cable as well as even a SIM card uh, slot, not SIM card slot, sorry, SD card slot, and you also have a micro USB port for the power of it, of course. That would actually be included here, right? Uh, so, I mean, with the other parts that are included with this uh, particular package, you also have bits of mounting hardware, as you can see there. You even have the uh, power cord that would connect to here. You can either choose to leave this hanging out in your car, or maybe even tuck it into the lining of it. Uh, you also have uh, other things as well, such as the uh, rear view camera. This can actually be used as like a backup camera, or perhaps even a uh, reverse dash cam as well. So, I mean, that's the main benefits of having this uh, particular product with your car, too. On top of that as well, so since this is actually mar uh, mounts itself onto the mirror of the vehicle, the stock mirror, you're also going to see certain things like these ones here, the rubber stops, to make sure that it doesn't damage the uh, stock mirror, right, the stock rear view mirror in mounting the uh, particular product altogether. Alright guys, so I have a cool little idea. I'm going to let Alex take over the vlog. I'm going to let him install the car part and explain it to you guys just because I'm always hanging out with my friends, so it would be cool if you guys get to know them better. Anyways, here's Alex. So I actually just found out that these right here, these rubber stops that I thought that were actually like, you know, uh, protectors for the uh, mirror itself. You're also gonna see certain things like these ones here, the rubber stops to make sure that it doesn't damage the uh, stock mirror are not actually protectors, what well, they rather are actually the hangers for this right here. So the thing is, it kind of like hooks around and then hooks at the bottom. So it's kind of like a rubber band that like, you know, secures it to the uh, stock mirror itself, right? So let me see if I can, you know, demonstrate that for you guys. So yeah, we completely screwed up. We can't even fit on the mirror. <laughs> but right, so uh, what's show them why, show them why. So I'll show you, right? So the thing is, Josh's mirror here is way too fat. And on top of that too, it's too wide to begin with to even fit. So the things what you want to do is you want to try and bring the uh, rubber here around so that it could hook up onto the bottom. But considering that the mirror, the stock mirror that Josh already has is way too thick, we can't even reach it around without it like, you know, uh, snapping or potentially, you know, failing early on in the future. So the main purpose or the main, you know, mechanic that you're going to use to hang this on is basically you're going to hang it like that and then your stock mirror would basically go under here right mm -hmm. and then that would secure it to uh the already existing mirror right but you just you just have to make sure that you know you fit it and you orient it in a, uh, in a particular way so that this is not obstructed nor does it you know um kind of like hang funny where it's like 
part of the camera itself is like you know already mounted or pressed up against the uh, pre-existing mirror altogether. But <laughs> basically, if it's like that, yeah, you can't I mean, even you, <laughs> you can't even record nothing, man. So I mean, the thing is, what we could probably do is we could probably just start it up to show you guys like you know the quality of it, yep. of the camera on top of that too, and then we can just kind of do a half-assed review video. Hey, it's pretty cool though, like. No, because with these moves. ones, yeah, they move around too. So, I mean, it's completely adjustable to how you like it, right? So, I mean, that's what's really nice about it. So, we could just try and start it up, demonstrate to you guys, like, you know, the quality of it, and then you guys can decide on whether you like it or not for yourself. Put it against the rear view, and let's see how big it is. Like, mm -hmm. like let's see how, like... Yeah, because look at that. It's actually slightly larger. But it's kind of like a Broadway mirror, don't you think? Kind of, right? But, I mean, if it had, like, you know... You could probably fab your own if you had, like, you know, really thick rubber bands, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or if you had, like, say, like, a hair tie, because, I mean, I'd say that's, oh, like, yeah, yeah. approximately the same thickness as this, mm -hmm. right? But it would kind of look cheap because of the fact that it's, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yes. don't want, like... <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Especially if you're trying to go for, like, a show car look, you kind of don't... Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, like, you, you would... I'm pretty sure that. you would take this out, though, so... Yeah. What's really nice, too, is actually you have these, which are insulators, so, I mean, you don't have any rattling, you know, when you're driving around. But again, since we can't like you know fit it, we can't really like demonstrate the um, full potential of this. Yeah, the the usability of it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? The practicality of it. But still, nonetheless, I mean, I'd say that we just show off like you know the different aspects and the different features so that we can like you know test it out. Test it out and give For everybody a good idea, right? For the vlog. For All the right, vlog, let's right? do that. Aston Martin. So as you guys can see, Alex's face. <laughs> I know, yeah, very unflattering angle. Thank you, Josh. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys could see this, but it actually. Oh, am I covering it? Hey, can you hold this real quick? <laughs> because of the fact that there's like the film over it, I bet you could probably like hello see it a little bit more. Yeah, you probably. Yeah, really you can probably see can. it a lot better. No, you can see it a lot better. Oh, really? Sure. Thing is, since I can't even install this, I kind of don't want to mess up the yeah. I don't want to take it out and mess up like the actual mirror. But the uh, the quality of it is actually not bad. It's actually pretty good altogether. It looks pretty good. Yeah. So let me see. Is that a setting? Nope. Oh, oh this is touchscreen. Yeah, it's touch. You just notice that you've been touching it, but. <laughs> <Bruh. laughs> oh my bad. No copyright, no copyright. No copyright. Come on. Just turn it off, dude. Oh yeah, you right. <laughs> so the mute button, basically what it does is you can mute yourself. Like, you know how like you're having conversation in the car? Yeah, you can mute out whatever conversation yeah, exactly. you have. That's so it's exactly. just video only. Yep. Right, so that's really a good thing about it too. I think this always has to be charged though. That's the only uh, downside. Unless you hardwire it. Unless you hardwire it, right? So the thing is, if you have it hooked up, right, you can't just like charge it and then unplug this and then... Yeah, it's, yeah. it's gonna shut down in three seconds. Yeah, so say that it's gonna and shut down, right? And that noise yeah. is kind of annoying a little bit. Mm -hmm. So the thing it's is, loud. if you have it not hardwired, or if you don't have it hardwired, right? So the thing is, what's gonna happen is, it's kind of like similar to a setup that I have in my car. So whenever you turn on the car, it activates this, and the dash cam will only be on if um, the car is on. If the car is on, uh, if the car is on itself, right? You can have it hardwired, but I mean that's a video for another day, really. Mm -hmm. But I mean the thing is, that will actually enable it to be in use all the time, basically 24-7 at the mm -hmm. expense of, you know, your vehicle's battery, really. You yeah. know, to be real. and Siri battery sucks. I would want maybe like a deep cycle battery, right? That's, you know, more for like, you know, um, the use of like, you know, heavier electronics and things of that sort. So, I mean, I'd probably recommend like, you know, preparing your vehicle for that. Otherwise, you know, you're gonna actively have something that's going to drain the battery. And I know, you know, it's not fun to try and, you know, get to work late with like, you know, the your car battery dead because like this was draining it all night, you know what I mean? First impressions? I thought it was cool. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I, I think, think that it's pretty cool. It's pretty HD. It says 1080, so... Mm -hmm. And it's touchscreen. How's the rear view, rear view dash look like, though? The rear view camera? Yeah. I'll check that out, too. That's nice. You actually get a lot, too. So yeah, that's a lot of wiring, so you could just... Yeah, you do get a lot. 
So yeah, you can like switch back and forth, right? So, oh. so you even have a separate screen, which is interesting. I'm not sure if right. you can see that. Can you see that? Let's yeah. See. You probably can't see that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, see? So there's a separate screen on it. So you can do split screen like this. You can do full on the front view, full on rear view. And again, you have the, uh, what's it called? A majority of it being the uh, front screen and a small part of it being the rear view. Yeah, so as you can see, there's multiple settings on how you want to view it. And also when you drive, you can't really see the camera so it doesn't really bother you so that's a pro for this one i believe like there's not much cons about it except the sound and how big it is like it may be a little too big but i feel like that's how big the Broadway mirror is i feel like it could have had better mounting hardware though yeah makes it sense. really could yeah. have had better mounting hardware right um and probably even like you know separate hardware for like you know if you want to hardwire it into your uh your vehicle but i think the reason as to why that they have it as like you know something that's only active when you have the car on right is just to avoid liability of the car or of the uh particular device you know killing the car's battery mm -hmm. right so i mean that's probably like something on the end of the manufacturer but i mean that's always, something always that you can modify if you're a little bit more handy when it comes down to electronics and if I were to mount it, I'd probably mount it like through this all the way down if I were to use the rear view dash cam. But out of 10, how would, how would you rate it? I was going to say an 8, dude. An 8? Oh, yeah. wow. I really was because, I mean, the fact that, you know, with this particular, like, you know, product, I don't think it's going to be all that expensive, mm -hmm. right? If you get a good one, if you find like, you know, a good one altogether, I estimate maybe about on like 40, 50, right? Mm -hmm. Some dash cams out there can go upwards of $100 if you really want a good one. But for the fact that this is actually like, you know, um, a multitude of products all in one, right? It's pretty well worth the, worth the price. I think this is a good product altogether. The online, like if you look online, there's nothing like this one in my no, opinion. yeah. Like this one's legit from the philippines <laughs> legit from the philippines yeah bro? Th yeah this one's like straight off the philippines and i'm pretty sure you can't find this online y you may find something similar but i'm pretty sure it's not like this one but what is that one what sorry it's like record so this is loop recording it's usually uh what's it called that's usually my uh preferred sound. oh it has night vision yeah you have night vision too and the exposure oh wow it's like a, it's like a legit camera. Frequency, um, format, LCD, brightness, date stamp, off. auto power, gravity sensing. What is that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, at least we have a owner's manual in Chinese. Yeah, it's not even Tagalog. <laughs> well, that was a complete fail, but at least we were able to view it to an extent. Oh, there's some English. But it's not in like, there's no like... Tagalog or anything like that? No, no, it's in multiple languages, but I mean... Yeah, maybe you can find this online, maybe. Yeah, no, but the English kind of looks broken. Oh well. Well, I thought this is a great product. All right, so I said 7, Alex gives it an 8. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But the only reason why I give it a 7 is just because, like, it's just my preference. I don't like it too big. And... The sound is gets pretty annoying at times. Yeah, see, watch. Yeah, that's that's annoying to me. Yeah. I can't really do that. Like radars and all that, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, dude, I can see why it gets annoying. Yeah, I mean, like, even like when you open the door on like modern cars, you know that sound. I'm just... Okay, maybe. But you know what I'm maybe talking not about, right? Yours, right? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? When you yeah. open the car door and the power is on, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. not the engine, and it, it's like, like it pings or like, something like that. Dun, dun, dun. That was so, so that was such a bad example. But, but anyways, Alex gives it gives it an eight. I give it a seven. I thought it was pretty dope. Oh shit! What is that like fake carbon fiber? I don't think so, dude. I think that's just like. <laughs> oh, what the heck? I think you just turned it on. Oh. But I think yeah, it's like a cheapy like design carbon fiber. Mm, not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. So, okay, yeah. actually, now I think I kind of do give it an eight too. It's not bad, dude. But I mean, actually, yeah, because like now I think the quality is really good. 
But it's just that. like, again, the fact that it's just not very compatible unless you have to come up with your own mounting hardware. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? You could probably, like, you know, I guess use a rubber band, but I mean, like, if you think about it, you know how cheap that would look? Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, what's holding it together? Or a rubber band. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. That, you know how stupid that sounds? Yeah. In conclusion, we both think this camera is an 8. So, I would highly recommend this if you guys can find this. <laughs> if you guys can find it and your own mounting hardware. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's kind of like a DIY for the mounting. More so, right? I mean, unless you have, like, a very basic, like, you know, rear view mirror, right? But otherwise, yeah, I don't I mean, would I recommend just put, like, super glue right here, just in case? <laughs> yeah, no, <I'm> right, <laughs> yeah, right, super glue, bro. <laughs> super glue and, like, 3M tape and, you know, you hot could, glue gun. Yeah, you could like probably just, thing. like, you know, tape it over, you know <laughs> Just not even like, it. not even like <laughs> the electrical tape. Just or like, just get like some old like string and like tie it up. You know what I mean? Oh, a string. Yeah, a string. Or oh, zip bro. ties. Zip ties, man. That's a that's a car's best car person's best friend. Car person's best friend. Yeah, hold it up with zip ties and completely like, crack the screen. Even better. Even have, better, right? You have three different, like more than three different viewpoints with a cracked screen. Jesus Christ, Joe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, but well, that's gonna end the video. You wanna end it for me? How it's... do you end your videos? Oh my gosh, this dude doesn't know. Alright, make something up. This dude doesn't watch my videos. What a real friend. Well, that wraps it up today, guys. Like and subscribe, and finger bang that like button. Catch you guys later.